It seems like Keeler's brought the support here, being the local London fighter. I don't know, I've got a feeling this is going to be an action back at one point. This battle they're giving the fighters the last few instructions before they exchange levels. Stick there straight from McWilliams off the button. Beautiful and their combinations there from Williams. I think he just found his rhythm now, throwing the combinations back. He's got his man backed up against the ropes. Big head kick there from Brooke Williams. He was certainly put the pressure on. The clinch there with one knee. Both fighters clinch. Went to throw a knee, both missed. Lovely hook left hook there from Brooke Williams. But Williams did a beautiful job by going upstairs and downstairs with his hands. Right knee there from Richard Keeler. Didn't really connect. I tell you what, these hooks must be punishing them for the Williams.
find the fire that's stuck in his hand. And Keane is just teeing up. There seems to be not much power left in the Williams' hands there. I think this is going to come down to the fitness of the two now. What a fight. Both fighters have left there from Keeler. But Williams needs to get out of that corner. Every time he gets backed up against the corner, he needs to circle out. But he's just going to take more punishment. I mean, the, the durability of Richard Keeler, I'm so impressed with that. Sad that Williams isn't done. You know, he may have tired up a little. The shot seems to be coming out a bit more swinging from the Williams now. He's still firing back. And that will really look good in judges' eyes. I wish that Williams would have checked those kicks a, bit, a little bit more in the earlier rounds. And he might not have been struggling as much now. Wow, what a fight. Richard Tina may have unofficially taken that one. But we're about to see as IMC Lance Bell on Mixing of the Shore.